Okay, so we're going to learn in uh, this video today how to make student certificates using Autocrat, uh, Google Form, Google Slides, and Google Sheets. Uh, love this process. It works for docs and slides, but I'm going to focus on slides today because you can do some great page layout things in slides. So I'm going to start in slides, and I just made the I just used the template certificate that's built in. And the cool part about slides is that all of these items that you build onto your uh, quote unquote slideshow, um, they're just objects. You can move them around. You can put graphics on here. Uh, and the secret to building a layout with slides is since everything's an object, you notice these are just boxes. Uh, you just fill those boxes in, use different shapes, use different colors, um, whatever you'd like to do um, for your uh, information. So whether it's hideous or not, I don't know, but there's my certificate I built. Um, so two, three tips on creating certificates or uh, awards or anything in slides that you want to merge with. Um, what you do is you make sure, first of all, under file page setup, you've got your page size set up right. So 11 by eight and a half, you know, that's our paper. So that's our paper size. Uh, if you want to do any other size, uh, you can change that. So you just make sure that you come off of these and go to custom, uh, and then you can set these to whatever you want. If they're big, you know, making big posters, you can do it that way, whatever you'd like to do. So, and then the other key thing is where you want data to come from your form. You just outside of the area where you want that, you put double caret signs. So double left. And then the student's name is going to go here and then double right. And that will place the student name. I uh, have a comment section. That's what the student did for this particular one. Uh, the staff member's name. And again, all you do is double carrots on either side of anything. And that can be filled in then from a piece from the form of the spreadsheet. So this can be done in any number of ways. Um, so that you can merge into it with form data. So this is where it becomes powerful. So you build this, you get it looking like the way you want it, and then you go build a form. So when you build a form, uh, it's just a normal form. Uh, I'm just gonna say, I want somebody to type the student name. They're gonna pick a category. Oh, you know what? I didn't put category on my certificate. So I'm gonna go put that on there. I'm going to move this down a little bit and I'm going to say copy paste and I'm going to say that I'm going to do something like in the category of the space double carrot. And then that will fill in the category name right there. And then this area will be that teacher's comments about the student. Okay. Uh, center that a little bit better. Okay. So I got category, I got comments. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move that up here. And again, this is page layout. So notice my text is white. That's okay. Just go up and change my, my text color. Uh, I'm going to change it to something in the theme here. Maybe this dark blue right there. And uh, another thing, notice these little boxes are in the way. Because it's an object, when you right click on an object, you can change the order. So I'm going to bring this to the front. So that will always be in the front. So there we go. I'm going to move this comments field back up. And there we go. So we should be able to go to our form now. So I got student name, I got category. What are the, you know, what great things do you catch them doing? And then the staff member's name. So when somebody fills this out, um, you're going to see that Katja, it's got directions student name, category, this, and when they click submit, just like every kind of Google form, it goes onto a spreadsheet. And the magic comes, uh, I already did this once or twice, it looks like I was practicing for the video this morning. 
And the magic comes now when you get your spreadsheet. This is your data spreadsheet. I usually like to make these a little more friendly before I continue because what they do is they inherit the name. So I put student name as it will appear in the certificate. So that would have been at the header area where it says student. And that was super long, so I just changed it to the word student. It's just easier for me, uh, but that's what that is. So this is form data that flows in from, uh, from the survey. So if we fill one of these out really fast, so I'll do, and we're gonna go helping other, we're gonna go integrity. Okay, we're gonna say Mrs. Smith, so submit. Okay, so that form should be on the spreadsheet now. And there it is. There's the information I need for the certificate. It didn't build the certificate yet because the, the next tool you need now is an add-on called AutoCrat. And you just go to Get Add-ons, Get AutoCrat, and you say Open once you've installed it. Love this tool. This, I use this tool for so many things. It's incredible what this tool can do. I uh, can't thank you enough, New Visions Lab, for uh, developing this software. You notice it puts something up in the upper right of your spreadsheet, and this is going to be, it's going to be a link to the merged document once it gets created. Okay, I already did this once, but I'm going to replay it so you can kind of see how you build uh, this process. And pretty easy, you just name it you can have multiple jobs on the same spreadsheet, different things, different things getting filled out, whatever you want to do. Um, say next. Next, I'm going to pick a template. So I already created my, my, my slideshow, right? So I'm going to say from drive. And I'm going to say student certificate, select, and next. Uh, and now is where you map your columns. So where see it found the tagged word student, and then I map it to the thing in my form that has that information. So since I use the same name as the name of my column header, it automatically finds them. So I don't have to work very hard at this. If these were different, these would make you pick which place that it maps to. These are all the double caret entered things. Um, on that slideshow. So I say next. This is going to be the name of the file. So it literally is going to make a certificate, a slide file with whatever name I want. So I'm going to use the carrots. So I'm going to say certificate or, and again, carrot name or student, right? That will be the student name. And I can maybe do the timestamp. And timestamp, then so this is, the, the files will be named certificate for student name and then the, the timestamp or when this occurred. I'm going to make it a PDF. I don't need these to be slideshows. I don't need to edit them necessarily. If you wanted to, you could make them all slideshows. But I'm just going to do PDFs. Um, I'm going to leave the default as multiple. I'm going to choose where I want to put it. So I'm going to pick, uh, I made a folder called certificates just so I have it separate and not just in my drive. So you highlight it and say select. So I'm going to get rid of, I don't want it to go to drive. I want it to just go to certificates. Uh, I don't need any references. There's all kinds of things, more powerful things you can do with Autocrat, but for our example, we don't need that. I don't need merge conditions. Um, I do want to share the doc with the email address so that teacher has access to it. Um, and so the to address is email. You can kind of get the idea. So the double carrots around that will point to this particular field, email address. And the subject line will be the same thing. Something like that. Okay. Next. And then this is the important one. So we want it to run when somebody submits yes on the form. So we want to run from form trigger. It might say there's no trigger set up. Do you want to? Say yes. 
um, we want it to run. So this means it's going to trigger when somebody clicks submit on the form. And we say bat save. And it does its thing, it saves it, takes a minute. Okay, now I already had one, so I'm going to get rid of my original one. Okay, just so you can see what happens. Um, because it already ran, because I already had a previous uh, job that ran, but I want you to see what happens. So you can see on the right here, underneath in the spreadsheet, it starts to fill in information about your merge job. So it takes each line as it comes in. Uh, and it puts in that information. So notice all of this, these are then, they created these, it says it successfully created it, it successfully sent emails, but I'm gonna actually get rid of those. All, and this is how you would rerun it in the future. So you want to make these again for some reason, you could rerun it um, anytime you want. And the way you do that is you just clear out this merged information and go to autocrat and open but i'm going to run one and because every time this goes from form submit it will run automatically you don't have to come in here and do this but since i'm not submitting another one i want to show you how to run it manually so as long as these are empty uh, when you run autocrat it looks at your spreadsheet and says okay there's not a merged document here let's create one there's not one create one there's not one create one um, so i can just click play and you'll notice this stuff will start showing up as it builds those certificates. It creates the PDFs, takes the PDFs, attaches them to an email automatically, sends an email to this email address. This is the person who submitted the form. So that person will have the PDF ready to go to print and give right to that student uh, or save for any other program. And just keep in mind, go beyond certificates, awards, letters, anything you merge into it could be a google doc or a slideshow it's a super powerful tool for merging any kind of information and it could be just from a form or it could be just from a giant spreadsheet uh, it doesn't have to be a form so it sees that it's there's three more rows that it has to merge so right now it's thinking about putting it's going to put the category the comments and the staff number name the student's name the time all that on the certificate, create a PDF out of it, put it in that certificates folder, attach it to an email and send it to the person. And that is the coolest part. So it's, it's just now doing that. And what's happening is since this was my email, I can show you what the, I just got an email. If I go look at my email, exactly what I put. There's the subject I put. There's the PDF. And the categories there, the comments are on there, the dates on there, my name's on there. Uh, and just a totally cool tool. Uh, and then now it's self-sufficient. Once this is set up and done and sitting there, all you have to do, post your form, send it to your teachers, whatever that might be. And uh, it's ready to go. So now I'm getting copies of the next set of emails. There's the next one, the next line that was on there. And the coolest part is if you ever want to find these again, they're sitting right here. So here's the links to them. There's a link to the, the document. There's a link to the certificate for each of these people automatically. And then on the end, it tells you what had happened, that it ran, who it sent to, and what, what the success rate was. So Autocrat slides and forms super great tools to combine together to make a very, very powerful uh, processing system to merge data into documents. Absolutely love it. So enjoy uh, and go forth and share and do good.